All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We have hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you, everybody, for giving us that milestone and showing us love and support. We're going to give away $1,000 in cash, but we are going to do that on Super Bowl Sunday. So the drawing or the wheel spin will be done on Super Bowl Sunday. We'll have a live show at halftime. And in order to win, you must be present in the live to win that $1,000 in cash. To enter this contest for the $1,000, you first, you have to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. You have to like every video that you see. I can't hold you to that. We're going to go on the honor system. I trust you guys. The second thing is you have to comment llama in the comment section. You have to comment llama in the comment section. That could be on any of our videos up until the Super Bowl. All you have to do, again, comment llama on any of the videos. I would really appreciate it if you guys would only do it one time so we don't have to go through all the repeats. But we also have another subscriber goal, 12,000 subs. We are going to give away a couple tickets to your choice of NBA, NFL, NCAA football games. Doesn't have to be in season. We can wait and send you guys later on in the season. Again, thank you guys so very much for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. We are very happy with what we have built, but we know this year is going to be even better than last year. We hope to see you guys along for the journey because we know this is only the beginning. Trey, enough said. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, let's get in some NBA picks and props for Thursday, January 18th slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm excited uh, because I am 0-0 at the moment. That's because I gave out Arkansas State on the money line going up against Southern Miss. And uh, the game is currently in session. And uh, got to have a lot of confidence in uh, Arkansas State because it's at halftime. They're up by two points, and we have them on the money line. So they just need to cruise for the rest of the game, and that's a cash. Yes, and I have Northwestern minus three and a half going up against Maryland. Northwestern at home has not tipped off yet. Seven minutes till tip off. I'm looking forward to watching that game. So hopefully Northwestern comes out hot on their home floor and beats the crap out of Maryland. Trey, let's go to the place for tomorrow. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to take a trip over to California here on a late night. Uh, game's going to tip off at 9 o'clock Central Time for us. The UC Davis going up against Cal State Fullerton game. And this is going to be an interesting game to watch. Both teams, they've had decent seasons so far. UC Davis, they come in this game with a 10-7 and record. They're also 8-7 and ATS. And the Aggies, they come in this game with a 2-4 and road record this year. And Fullerton, they come in this game with an 8-9 and record. They're also 7-8 and ATS. And the Titans, they are 4-2 and at home. And I will say I'm a little confused by this line, though. In my opinion, UC Davis, they are just a significantly better team, in my opinion. So I'm going to be taking them here on the money line at minus 134. If you think that's too juicy, you can definitely just take the minus one and a half or minus two if that's what it gets pushed to, because I have a lot of confidence in this UC Davis team because they're simply just a more balanced team. And uh, the Aggies, they hang their hat on the defensive end, though, because UC Davis, they come this game allowing 67.2 points per game. That's the 81st lowest in the country. And whenever we factor in that this Fullerton offense is just downright brutal, it just makes me love this play even more because Fullerton, they only average 67.4 points per game. That's the 40th lowest in the country. I expect UC Davis to be able to hold Fullerton to a pretty low number in this game and then just cruise to an easy win. And whenever we factor in the Ken Palm, it does back us up here because UC Davis, they are a whopping 94 spots ahead of Fullerton. I'm confused by this line. We're just going to hammer it and hope. Give me UC Davis here on the money line versus Fullerton. Yeah, Trey, I like that play there for you. Uh, for my play today, we're going to stay in the Big Ten. I'm going to be looking at Minnesota traveling to take on Michigan State again. Winning on the road in the Big Ten, it's very hard to do. And Michigan State comes out as a minus 12.5 favorite. I'm going to lay the number here with Michigan State, minus 12.5. Michigan State this season, they've been up and down, and their losses have come in pairs. They lost the first game of the season to James Madison, then Duke. And then they lost back-to-back -back games against Wisconsin and Nebraska. And their previous two-game losing streak, they lost in Northwestern on the road and Illinois on the road. And this season has been a little bit strange for Michigan State because they haven't found themselves in close games besides the first game and the last loss that they had against Illinois. Whenever they lose, they lose big. Whenever they win, they win big. They've won every game this season by 12-plus points. I don't think they're going to lose this game. And I like the trends. If they stay the same, they're going to win this one by 12-plus points. Minnesota has been decent this season, but they have lost back-to-back -back games coming into this game, losing by 12 points to Indiana and 9 points to the Hawkeyes. Michigan State, according to Ken Palm, 16th best team in the nation. They have a better offensive team. They have a better defensive team. And Minnesota this season, offensively, they've struggled at times. They're only scoring 109.5 points per possession. For Michigan State, they're averaging 116.6 points per possession. And defensively, the Spartans are giving up 5.9 points less than Minnesota on that side of the ball. They are leaps and bounds better than Minnesota on both sides of the ball. Minnesota's also allowed 70-plus points in three of the last four conference games. Look for Michigan State to get out hot and never let that lead go away. Give me Michigan State, minus 12 and a half here at home as the play. Trey, let's go to the props. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, at the moment I am O and O. That's because my game tips off in exactly four minutes as we are recording. I'm excited to get off here and watch it. 
I gave out Pop Isaacs to go under 13 and a half points versus Houston. Very low number. I'm not scared because Houston, uh, they barely allow over like 50 points a game. So uh, I don't think there's going to be very much scoring for Texas Tech here. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put an 0 and 1 on the board. I've still got seven ish minutes left in my game, but I took out Trey Mitchell over 9.5 rebounds going up against Mississippi State. Someone commented uh, on the YouTube channel in the first half, and they said, "Does Trey Mitchell have arms?" Because he had zero rebounds in the first 13 minutes of the game. I don't know what happened, guys. I really don't. The kid had 10 plus rebounds in five consecutive games, and he's only got three right now with six minutes left. So I don't know what happened. I guess he just didn't crash the glass tonight. Sometimes that happens. I'll take the 0 and 1. We're gonna move on. We're gonna bounce back. Trey, let's take a look at those plays. Starts off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to take a guy that might be the hottest player in college basketball. Give me Marcus Domask to go over his points versus Michigan. I really love this over for Domask here because he's really enjoyed the addition by subtraction of Terrence Shannon Jr. Because over his last four games since Terrence Shannon uh, left the Illinois lineup, Domask, he's averaging in almost 25 points per game while shooting 16 attempts per game and eight free throws. So he's getting a ton of volume here. And I expect him to get that volume here against Michigan as well because there's simply just no other options for Illinois at the moment. And to make it even better, whenever we look at this matchup versus Michigan, it just makes me love this play even more. That's because this Wolverines defense is just no bueno. They can definitely be attacked because they come this game ranked outside the top 100 in defensive efficiency. And they also allow a ton of points. Michigan, they allow an average of 77 points per game. That's the 62nd most in all of college basketball. So whenever we combine Domas recent volume with this Michigan defense. It's just a perfect storm here, guys. Give me Marcus Domas to go over his points versus Michigan. Yeah, Trey, I like that one there. For my play today, we're going to go back to David Jones of Memphis to go over his total points going up against South Florida. Memphis this season is one of those teams that you don't want to find yourself playing come March because they can put up points in a hurry. Defensively, they're horrible. I understand that. But they can match basically anybody in the country bucket for bucket. One of their players and their best player on the court is David Jones this season. He's averaging 21 points per game. He's shooting 44.7% from the field, 37% from deep as a big man. This guy, he doesn't take days off. He's scoring 17 points. Uh, he scored 17 plus points now in 11 consecutive games. He also went on a stretch of 22 plus points in six consecutive games in those 11 games. And I love David Jones in this game because his numbers at home are even better than they are in the season. Memphis has an overall team. They've got better stats at home. But David Jones, he scored 23.4 points per game, shooting 48% from the field, 42% from deep on his home floor. Memphis, they've also scored 100-plus points in back-to-back -back games, and they scored 90-plus points on this South Florida team in back-to-back -back meetings. Expect Memphis to be over 90 points and expect David Jones to score at least 20-plus of those. Give me David Jones over his total points as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Kick us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going with UC Davis here on the money line versus Cal State Fullerton. UC Davis, they're just easily the better team, and if uh, the points get too much, you can just take them on the spread because I think they're going to roll here in this game. Also going with Marcus Domas to go over his points versus Michigan. The guy's a stud. He might be the hottest player in college basketball. Uh, pause. But I think he's going to dominate here. Pause. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I'm going to take Michigan State. Minus 12 and a half at home. They won every game by 12 plus points when they win. I think they dominate Minnesota in this one at home. And then David Jones. A lot of points going to be scored in this South Florida Memphis game. I like David Jones. Another 20 plus point game. He's had six already on the year. He's going to dominate South Florida. Guys. That's going to do it for our NCAA player props and game picks for Thursday, January 18th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 